Hi everyone, it's Ejem from Mini Course Generator. Today I will talk to you about the analytics and reporting feature of the Mini Course Generator. So, almost all educational platforms do include analytics and reporting feature. And this usually contains metrics such as learners' progress, completion rates and scores. Uh, but what I want to focus on today is the differences of Minicross Generator thanks to its product structure. Although its name is Mini, it provides you with macro insights with its three different leveled analytics system. But first things first, if you're not familiar with the product yet, let me introduce it to you very quickly. So, Mini Course Generator is a course creation product that is known for its simplicity and ease of use. So, let's dive into it together. When you first log into your account, you will see your dashboard. Well, since this is my account, you're seeing my courses at the moment. But dashboard displays all your collections and mini courses. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of mini courses. Let's just click one of them. So once you click on one of the mini courses, you will see that it contains various cards. And these cards can be a quiz card, a survey card, or an information card, or more. So basically, when all these cards come together, this will constitute a mini course. And the same logic applies for the collection and mini course relationship. So when different mini courses come together, this will constitute one collection. And you can also see your collections on the left panel. So let's say that you created your courses and shared it with your audience and now you want to see how they're interacting with your content. And here analytics and reporting come into play. As I already mentioned, Mini Course Generator has a three uh, different level analytics structure. So let's go from general to more detailed one. So firstly, it provides you with collection-based overall analytics. Secondly, it provides you with mini course-based overall analytics. And lastly, the most detailed one, it provides you with individual insights. So let me introduce you to the, the most general one first. So the collection-based overall analytics. So on your dashboard, you will see the features tab on the upper side. On the very right of this, you will see the analytics option. So let's click on this. And this will show you the overall data for the entire collection. As you see, it includes generic data such as learners who completed, engaged learners, learners with certificates and so on. And on the left upper side of these data, there is the filtering option. And with this, you can simply see the overall data specific to a mini course that you wish to see. So moving on to the detailed data analytics for the collection. For this, you have to go to the download full report tab. And once you click on this, it will give you access to detailed data about learners. And this includes, for example, which courses within the collection were completed user ID, progress, score, and so on. So now you basically get an overall idea for your collection of how your learners are doing. And now you might also want to see how your learners are doing specific to a mini course. And for this, simply go back to your dashboard and choose the mini course that you wish to see. On the right upper side of the page, I find the report option. And once I click on this, I see the general analytics filtered to this mini course. Now I click on download full report to see a detailed table information. And once it's downloaded, this will have much more detailed analytics than the one that we saw for the collection. And it includes insights such as the user ID, the last activity of the learner, every answer given to each question that you might ask within your mini course. And this also includes answer given to survey questions. And here I should briefly mention that the existence of a survey question is a big plus for a course creator because it gives you direct insights as to how your learners are interacting or whether they're liking your content. So this is basically the overall structure of the the three different leveled analytics uh, system within Minicross Generator. And one last point I want to make is the possibility for course creators to gather unlimited data. And this is possible via the availability of everyone can access option. And 
For this, you can go to Learner's Access tab and once you click on it, there are going to be various options in front of you. And the first one is the everyone can access. And once you click on this one, this will basically remove every sign up or login barriers and it will allow everyone to complete or access your course. And with this extensive and comprehensive data, you can easily hire the quality of your content as well as maximize your learner's engagement. So I hope this gave you a brief insight as to how analytics and reporting feature in Mini Questionator works. And if you have any questions or comments, you can drop them below. I would be happy to see them and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.